happening that Infinity is already no. ahead of Okori, right, I guess? Right now, yes, exactly. The winner of this one will pull ahead in that head-to-head. If they both, they're both they both 4-1 and one right now, so winner yeah. will be 5-1, and one, loser 4-2, and mm-hmm. two, and then go plus 1 on the wins. Yeah, this is, this is a big break point here from top 2. Yeah. But here we go. Game number 2. It starts now. Into the jungle we go. <laughs> wow. Willow, first phase ban. I mean, you have first pick, so I, I guess I don't mind one turf away ban, but... Uh... So many good heroes in the Invoker coming yeah. up to this uh, banning couplet. We got Viper. Oh, God, Nyx. I'm dying. We got Hello? Nyx, Viper, Timber, Bat. Dire team pick. And they wow. pick Titan. All right. wow. We've jumped wow. off the tusk. They've gone for uh, the other position four that they pick first. Trent, uh, is, it, is this an objective drafting mistake, though? When you have that many tier one heroes in from these weird bands, like, yes, this is comfort zone for them, but isn't there a big opportunity cost here? If you I don't like the yes. hero and you can't play the hero, then there's no point picking it. You're telling me they can't play Timber, Bat, or Nyx? I would uh, rather a player, uh, I'd rather him be on something that he's comfortable with and has spammed in a game that is going to determine my future for the next four, six weeks or whatever. Agreed in a vacuum. Season. My point is that we're this far into the DPC lead. Yeah, if you, you should can't be play those Nyx. heroes, your team's got bigger fucking problems, dog. Like, we've had a <laughs> yeah, lot of Zyari, time to train these meta heroes. Yes. Zyri is right, Trent. I don't think there is... There, there, I don't think there's an excuse here. Uh, Bane, tiny. This is a crazy Nine opener. This is, in, this is actually insane. This is what they've been playing. This, these are their heroes. <laughs> I Aren't mean, they you look the at their games, man. They've been Bane? picking Bane. Yes, they, they've played two games of Bane. Uh, just in the past, like, I mean, they haven't played that much over the last 10 days, but out of their last, like, what, six games, they've played they, two of them have been Bane. I know they beat G Pride one game with it. I don't remember what the other one was. The other one was uh, in a different tournament. Oh, they've okay. been playing in, like, First Blood and uh, ah, the Octa Exxon League, which I have to say is one of my favorite games. <laughs> I saw that the other night. Some of the NA teams were playing in it, too. That was, yeah, that's pretty good. <laughs> Uh, I gotta say though, like I feel like their draft is uh, their opener is a little better just because Tiny can flex. It's not necessarily gonna be a four Tiny. That's uh, true. But I hate I Bane into Tusk. I think you know you can just save the Fiend's Grip people. You can save whoever is Nightmare. I think that is is really rough for the Bane. But besides Gardic that, you know, I, I like the Tiny flex. Issues, I, I think. I think uh, either Gardic is really obsessed with Chinese Dota of twenty like nineteen, or he uh, feels like he needs to do too much in these games. Because he's picking these yeah. BKB piercing position five heroes that are like, just in case, I'm here, guys. That was like a huge trend in China like last year where basically every position five had to pierce BKB because everyone was buying BKBs at like 20 minutes or whatever. Mm-hmm. Uh, and I, I remember seeing so many Banes and Wyverns and just thinking like, dude, maybe you should just like stop him from getting a BKB. Has, has oh, that ever wow. been on the Trent, med here? You should go to coach in China. What a disruptor you would be. Oh, no, I, it's funny the, to hear you play that style. Because, like, a genius now. <laughs> or, or hear you talk about that style because I remember casting Chinese games in like 2015 where it was the exact same. Like, I have vivid memories of casting with Winter of him saying at 20 minutes, they will not feel comfortable fighting until they all have BKB. And then you stand there for 15 minutes watching them farm BKB and then they take fights. I mean, it's BKB and Chinese Dota, man. It's an iconic duo. Um, so how come Infinity took the task? What's up with this? I why I didn't mean, they take Nyx in our genius brains? I I wish I had an answer. I have no words. Deny pick. <laughs> I have no Get words. out of their comfort zone. <laughs> I mean, they're a team that also banned the Nyx when they don't have first pick. But yeah, I'm, uh, I'm it's just an sure. essay thing. Like uh, SG was doing the same thing at the, in their first games. They like they would see Shaker and they wouldn't clock. They would get like a, a tusk because I think South American players just like it a lot. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Well, Tusk Grim, it's a pretty nice support duo. I, I don't hate it. I do like uh, the nature of Tusk having a save on the four. Not something we see too often. Mm-hmm. They don't really have a lot of Dreamstroke combos so far, me. but uh, they do have a lot of ways of like messing with the Bane. He's gonna have they will really when they pick time. Wraith King, fourth Bowie. Okay. They've got Inkswell combos too, at least. Yes, they do. The there he is. Oh, well, would you look at that? There we're, he is. we're getting somewhere here. Now, unfortunately, so, this means you have a core tiny. <laughs> yeah. E- yes, that's not the uh, most stealthy Nyx assassin pick. Yeah, that, that's, my, that's my problem. Like, why don't you just get the Nyx first if the flex is going to last until your third pick, right? That's... 
I'm inclined to agree. Like knowing Bat Rider was in and they could have like blocked it with the Knicks or banned the Knicks since he came out third. Like, mm-hmm. isn't Bat just objectively a better mid than Tiny? Am I nuts? Like if you're gonna ban Invoker, why are you picking Knicks? Like Knicks is really good versus Invoker. Like, can you just ban something else? Or uh, I don't know. I, I'm just quite confused. I mean, P- PP does like Invoker a lot. Uh, they might have first phased it in a series or two. No, yes, but but still, like, if you have first pick, yeah. you can just get the Knicks and say, "Okay, yeah. PP, go get, for get it." Invoker. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm with you. I'm with you. Questions abound. Right. Hmm. I see what you're saying, but if you're gonna pick the Knicks anyway, why not just give yourself another ban and force them into either not picking Invoker or picking it into a shit matchup? Yeah. Ah, the big brain of drafting. So tight is open here. <laughs> Do you go tidy for infinity? Do they play the Wraith King, bro? Oh, never mind. Hmm. Uh, you're asking if they play uh, a three, three void. Yeah. I mean, let's be real. I think anyone should be able to. I mean, Little oh. Boy's playing Dazzle offlane, so I wouldn't be surprised. Yeah. I'm oh. Sure PA with Inkswell. Okay, I like that. Hmm. They do have. It's funny break. they banned Slardar. <laughs> they wind up picking PA. <laughs> 10 seconds remaining. Uh, yeah, uh, yeah, and the next break is pretty, you know, whatever. Uh, they could vi- no, nah, unless they're going to play 3 Viper. Mm. Uh, you could. It's a bit risky though. It doesn't really have a lot of like um I don't know, it's not a uh, a glue hero. It doesn't hold a draft together. It's a side piece, you know. They they've got enough side pieces already. They need some some glue. I mean, I need something like this draft something does. Instead. Yeah, there it there is. You yeah, the the big, gr- link, okay. mean, green machine thing. He, he's the rug that ties the room together. That's the Tide Hunter. It is he would make a dream, great though. rug. Kind of scary. True. We've yeah, seen that, that uh, not work out so hot for the hero. I do have that Tide Hunter umbrella. I bought it at the TI in China. Really good umbrella. Oh, really? Yeah, really cool design, too. You look like Tide Hunter walking around in the rain. <laughs> Do you have like Gareth red contacts? A pretty cool Tide Hunter shirt. Oh yeah, he's got noticed. the. Mm, yeah, Is that the Conga one? No, it's no. the it's like the watermelon shirt, right? Oh, yeah. The, yeah. Okay, that's a good one. <laughs> well, there's the Wraith King ban and the Timber Saw ban. So, what is the other matchup you're scared about here? Dyer if you're PA, uh, troll, I guess, is like yes. something. I think troll is probably the, the best one. Pick. Oh, they take the PL. Infinity, the, the, their most banned hero is PL. They, they really hate PL. Yeah, they banned it a lot. You're right. I don't yeah. blame them. Ah, there you go. Yeah. Good call. Makes sense. Very safe. I guess, you know, the PL is really good versus uh, versus Grimstroke. Uh, he, he can just get on top of him. I guess Tro has a harder time doing that. I mean, man, I know they don't have anyone beefy, but for some reason, I kind of want them to pick Wind Ranger. Ten seconds. Really? That Tusk Wind Ranger combo from Liquid was so good before. They have me tiny, though. I think it's really scary to play Wind Ranger versus him. It just yeah. I just wanted like explode another like hero that can play with Void Spirit. That's my only concern. I don't know if I want some big like Underlord or whatever, you know. What about Sanky? Sanky's Sounds not okay. Bad. Not too shabby. Or let me think. You have a Tusk, right? So. You want something that can do well in lane with him? I definitely gonna pick Underlord. I can sense it. Magnus. Oh God. All right, real talk. It's a brew game. Let's go. Okay. <laughs> they play yeah, brew. Yeah, I guess they can. They can void uh, off lane and get a good matchup here versus Tiny. No, put the void mid. Go brew off lane. Oh, ah, boo. Oh, Tiny. They no. take the Viper. So they've Ooh. done um, Viper early into uh, PA picks before to help like guard the PA, and then it ends up surviving all the way through. And it's and it is nice to be able both. to break Troll. It's nice to be able to break Tide. Um, yep. Those are two big ones right there. And like you said, they they like the Viper anyway. It'll be a little boy Viper in the off lane. So uh, PP will take the Void Spirit mid. Hmm. I'm feeling kind of 2 0 here, boys. I don't think Hokori have a bad draft, but I think this Viper is pretty damn nice. And it's similar to last game, like Ricky Void Spirit, PA Void Spirit, that same. If you can get a little bit ahead, oh, buddy, you're back line. It's weird to see a PA game with no buffs and no minus armor, like no attack speed buffs. She has Inkswell and she has, um... oh, yeah, that doesn't really count. I mean, I know he's going to buy a medallion, blah, blah, blah. I just mean like, you know, real minus armor. 
All right, guys. Yeah, they banned Slardar. I see. You're if still you're watching right now, ignore Zyorian Trend. This is a South American tiny from near, okay? <laughs> we okay. saw the power of the South American tiny. He's going to burst that PA every single fight. That little boy Viper is going to be sad. He's going to farm an Atos. What, what's he going to do with the Atos? It's not, it's not going to do anything. I don't even know. What's he going to do? All right. He's yeah, going to kill Gardic over and over. That's what he's This gonna is going to be a three game series. There is no way Infinity is going to 2 0 this. Okay. All right. I like the confidence. I would like to see a game three as well, Bowie. So I'm with you there. But now it's time for Gareth and Theban. Gary, are we excited about a 10th pick Viper? Oh, God. I'm going to call Mott. He must be jiggling. <laughs> I don't think anybody on this planet in their right mind is excited about a last pick Viper, but we do have that PP Void Spirit again, which is going to be a sight to behold. A PA for arms. Tiny mid -die, I think, is going to be the big question here. You know, Bowie, he seems pretty confident that it's going to blow up Hero Steven, but uh, how do you see Nier doing in this match? Ooh, it's going to be pretty tough. I, I don't think Tiny really wins any matchups, and it comes down to whether he's going to be getting kills on the silence that's how it is with tiny so we're gonna have to wait and see um how it goes but i believe pp is gonna be popping off once again and you said something interesting gary no one gets excited by a viper last pick do you really i i'm excited by this viper last pick, but not because a viper but because you? they realize that this viper is a hard counter to troll and the tide so it was an incredible pick. When people normally pick Troll, they always make sure the Viper's banned first before they take it. So that's, ex that's exciting for you. I mean, it's exciting to see a team outsmart someone, you know? Okay, it's really that cool. I can understand. I'm, I'm, I'm down with that. The draft logic, oh. there you go. And they miss yep. out on that sentry, the observer ward just, just outside of it in that mid lane. <laughs> Yeah, that was a really cool word, actually. That was actually a really cool word to just put down there. Because then he went into the tower, he hit him, and he puts a sentry down, feels bad, man. And he still gets to see the rune. Yeah, cool little spot. Well, why would you put it there and not on the high ground, for example, though? I think the high ground doesn't reach all the way to that tower vision there. Mm. So... Clever. Oh, yeah, because it reaches exactly to where those trees are, where you do that little trick, yeah. That's a good mm -hmm. point. Well, how do we set up these lanes then? Viper up against the troll. You've got Gardic Bane. Man, Viper Tusk is going to be some nasty stuff, isn't it? Usually we see the Bane do decently trading yeah. hits and in the regen battle, but in this uh, in this I lane setup, team, it's going to be hard. It's going to be tough. I think they might get a kill onto the Viper like once, maybe twice. But the problem with troll is throughout the whole game, you're going to have a tough time into the Viper. You're just going to get Viper striked or Viper stroke every time. You walk in, then another toxin just makes it so that you can't get any uh, forever st stacks at all. Mm. And then up at top, it looks like the Grimstroke has somewhat stopped the Nyx from pulling the wave. He gets one range creep that he drags. Did snipe out the Grim's yep. Courier, but it's, uh, it's getting it a little bit be... messy up top lane. <laughs> it should be a pretty easy lane for the Tide, though, for the most part. Um, even though his support is a Nyx, PA plus Grim, they're not going to be able to bring down the Tide early game. And he's already got a magic stick. And it can be hard on the Nyx Assassin, Mark. When this El Misho guy hits level 2, he's going to have, you know, the stun, the carapace going on in with yep. Inkswell and Dagger. is going to be a little bit awkward. What What are your first impressions when you think of uh, Tide versus PA as a matchup, Gary? Good luck, PA. Good luck, just PA. No, I mean, like, throughout a game. Okay. And not just laning stage, like, throughout the game? Yeah. yeah. I don't know, I, I guess it can swing pretty hard, like Pierre just jumps in, takes half of his HP with one, one crit. Exactly. The thing about uh, Tidehunter, his biggest weakness are these big crit heroes in the late game where your Kraken shell doesn't really do a whole lot, mm -hmm. and if you anchor smash, they might just be BKB'd, and then you're not really removing any damage. PA late game, incredibly good against Tide. I wonder if we'll ever even get to see the Aghanim Shard. Like, it's such a cool thing where you can break somebody and remove 12% of their HP, but nobody ever buys it. Yeah, that fan of knives goes back to the old, uh, the old Mortred days. Mm -hmm. Dirt one Phantom Assassin. It's a pretty cool one. Really cool I've, ability. I don't think I've seen it. No, we have not. Well, Ty gets his 
Creep Wave in front of his tower, so it's down to that Grimstroke to try and pull back. Nyx did a nice job there actually stopping the large camp being dragged, and now we get some stacks going in the jungle for the rest of his squad too. Very and that nice. mid lane oh, though... Mid. Got a little low, but he's good, he's got very fire. Tombo, uh, Tiny just showing him the combo. Tombo, oh, I... tiny combo. <laughs> Kerry, I, I, I thought you were speaking another language. Like, <laughs> so did I. <laughs> My brain was like, let's put all these words together into one. Tiny combo, Tombo, there we go. <laughs> <laughs> you know, in six months, everyone's going to be using that. We're going to be watching TI. We're going to be watching TI 11. We're going to have Tiny going in with the Tombo, but top lane, we get the first blood onto Sexy Yogi. El Misha there. Vitaly dropping low to the Daggers of Arms. A couple more slices here. And there's nothing to stop the PA. It's the PA combo. It's the Pombo. <laughs> I can't stop. I'm gonna stop right now. <laughs> <laughs> stop, please. Oh yeah, we got a first blood. <laughs> uh, yeah, I mean, you kill the Grimstroke, but PA getting that cross kill, then resetting the lane with this wave to drag it back. Still a good spot for arms to be in. And what, what's on? Wh where's the item for PA? What's coming? Salve, Blightstone, uh, Fluffy Hat. So Orb of Corrosion is on the way. Yep. Doesn't doesn't finish it quite yet. They didn't have enough gold. But he'll get it soon. Yeah, should be able to pretty freely farm under that tower. Mm -hmm. And nothing uh, so, nothing too interesting has happened bot lane yet. Bounty runes are spawning uh, soon. They got it. They got the kill on the bane. Um, that's pretty much it. And uh, Viper has 11 last hits. Troll has a lot of denies. Like, he's pretty much denied every time the Nanotoxin has been dropped. So Viper's going to be a little bit far behind. PP getting low again. Top lane, the Tide and Nyx, they are diving that tier 1 tower a little bit. Putting pressure onto Sexy Yogi with another stun. Vitaly smacks him down with the Anchor Smash. Dagger back, and it looks like Arms trying to get again another cross kill dagger. on that Tide. He should wait for the Anchor Smash to end before he daggers. Nope. Well, but Corrosion going, stunned up, the salve, the Anchor Smash keeps going. Now Arms with, what, four one charges? Yeah, has to retreat, can't keep going. Yeah, if he just waited for the Anchor Smash to end, oh, then babe. that would have been a sure kill onto the Tide. He wouldn't have wanted to flask while the dagger didn't come out already. Bane drops cheese on the floor, and then he dies around those bounty runes. Did he yep. manage to grab one? Doesn't look like it. Uh, I think he denied one. Oh no, Troll got, got, Troll got one. That's what happened. Troll got one. PP picked up the other one. And they finally kill that Tide in the top lane. When the Sexy Yogi back. comes back alive, yeah. Arms is actually level 6 already, so he's very strong on his PA. I fully expect the Titan to die more. Possibly. Lumiere. Whoo! Jeez. Yeah, he, he almost died to that urn plus the uh, 5 stacks of poison from the Viper. And then the Bane has come in mid to try and guard a rune. Spawns top for Nia. So a nightmare and a runaway from Gardic. I don't think PP can get the job finished off. And yeah, the PA, now she's got almost enough money for Ring of Health. That sustain is going to help her tremendously, along with the Orb of Corrosion, just to stick in that lane and offer threat on the tide. Yeah. Do you know why the Viper urn is so good, Gary? I'm sure you've seen so it good? a couple of times. Because it has a lot of really good stats. You know, you got armor, mana region, everything Viper needs. And then your poison attack actually amplifies the damage of your urn. So Ooh. it ends up doing 200 damage. To a hero, thanks to that uh, magic resist reduction. That's super nice. Yep, it's like a nuke for Viper. Very, very strong. Yeah, especially against the Bane, who's got like 700 HP. Oh, top lane, they're going arms again. Jesus! That tied up. And Elmisha is not missing his stuns. They also get the combo. Sexy Yogi down to about 200 HP himself. He's got raindrops to help against the Gush. Doesn't help against the Ravage, though. And PP's rotation here doesn't look like it'll accomplish much. Maybe they can finish off the Tide. Nyx and Tiny coming back no in for round for two, team. though. There's another Tombo coming. Come on, get in there. Where's the Avalanche? The toss, two heroes stunned up. Beautiful, in we go, down. Falls what that a... Void Spirit. They should be able to get the I'm, I'm not gonna as well. say they're it. They're diving, they're going for it. What are you not gonna say? I'm not gonna say it. What a nice, tiny nice... toss combo. <laughs> and little boy. I guess found down bottom lane, the Grimstroke rotated in there to try and help the Viper. Does trade back for that Troll Warlord. Every lane you look at is just pick-off after pick-off. Six to five, eight minutes in. 
And it feels like it's a lot of core heroes dying in this game as well. It's not just the supports. Yeah. Exactly. Uh, it, it all started with that PA just now, getting mana burned, not having enough to be able to Phantom Strike out. That looked like such a nice kill coming out from Hakori there. I didn't think uh, even Arms realized he was going to die. Started the chain of events and PP already dying once now in the early game, not having that amazing game that he had in game one. Yeah, and Tiny's rotations on the flip side, doing exceptionally well. Yep. Phase Bottle, Invis Rune, comes down bottom lane. Who can they find? Viper's the Wave Viper. is pushing forward a little bit. Just got to bide your they time know, and wait right? for them to yeah, come. They have, they have no idea he's down here. They have no vision. They have no sentry. And they're the one making the first move onto the troll. It's a nice snowball inkswell. Catching two heroes the in that stun. They're focusing guarding, but there's the Tombo down. The Viper goes to about 300 HP. Troll Warlord battles forward. Gardic's gonna die, but they bring everyone down here. Destroying the rotation from both Infinity supports. Do they have another stun? Doesn't look like they can. Trying to body block the Grim a little bit, but he has escaped. A bit of space for the PA, but Void Spirit also walked down here. He wanted to get into that fight, but wasting a lot of time yeah. as everyone has already died. I think uh, PP figured maybe he can come down here, help kill this Troll Warlord, but the tiny man, that Tombo was just way too much. They need this Viper to be alive. Those poison attacks are so important. Oh, soul bind with a two-man silence. No combo from Tiny this time. Now the no Viper down. Strike yet either. Focusing the next, but there's the Ravage. Vitaly, right place, right time. Find El Misho, Sexy Yogi down, but this Void Spirit is on very low HP. Dissimulate. The range dances, and there's the toss. Dodged by the Dissimulate. Nicely called, but still into the waiting arms of that Tidehunter. Lumiere finds another kill as the Viper Strike finally comes up. But it looks like Tiny's all right just to sit back, walk it off. Mm -hmm. They gotta disengage here. They they need to realize maybe Tiny has another combo here. And right, he's got another co combo. <laughs> gotta gotta back up. I'm gonna toss snowball and shards. Tag team never toxin slowing down Gardic, but there's that vendetta, the one hit kill onto that four pound plow and a tusk. And arms has also been found by Vitali. Man, it's a five v five bottom mistake. lane. Ten heroes battling, but it's Hakori getting the <laughs> massive advantage. Only in South America will you see 5v5 for this long in the bottom lane before 10 minutes. Yeah. Oh, man. I mean, the PA coming down here was a little questionable. Like, okay, she came down, she wanted to fight, throw some daggers, maybe get a kill or two. But when you see Hakori still have four heroes there, you have no business jumping in or going on to any targets whatsoever. Like, you got to be farming at this time. You cannot lose anything, any timings on your items right now. Radiant structures are fortified. you looking at this near tiny. 1400 nearly has his blink dagger. Troll Warlord's gonna be at Battle Fury soon, and he's already got phase boots up. While PA, you know, that orb of corrosion, I guess it's decent for farming and fighting, but it does slow down that Battle Fury in comparison. It's What's alright. It'll give her a better um, BKB timing after the Battle Fury, though. Because mm. what people do nowadays is they buy the Orbital Corrosion, they can fight with it, and then they just skip the Desolator. Go straight into that BKB. Well, look at this. We've gone from a 5v5 bottom lane. Both the carries are like, sod that, I want to hit some creeps. So now we've got a 4v4 bottom lane. Infinity bringing the numbers down there, trying to pressure tower, but... As we always see, the Tidehunter just plonks his big body in front of it. Defends the objective, forcing this smoke rotation to come in towards mid. They've spotted Tiny. They know he's used his avalanche toss. Nyx Assassin oh, scouted the PA. Oh, you got to get out of here. Yeah, PA's got to know that the Nyx is off the map right now. And they're going to the Tiny, but he's got an Invis rune. Do they have reveal? Eat the remnant with a sentry there. They do, and Nia going to get burst. Before that blink pickup. Really well timed, and Nyx is just going to walk through the sentry, no big deal. <laughs> back, back to his side of the river. Yeah, no disables right up anymore. Well, this is the scrappy game we were expecting in game one. It Every, is. Everyone is bashing heads against each other. But it's nice to see this Tidehunter, he's the, he's the mainstay. He's the guy that's like, okay, I'm going to go bottom lane, defend. I'm going to go mid lane, defend. But he has left the bot mm -hmm. tower open now for the Viper to shove. 
And that was a nice play from Finney, right? Like, they probably learned from watching yesterday's game when the Tidehunter was just super annoying. And instead of just sitting there and banging their heads into the Tide, they instantly make the smoke play onto the other lane. Like they just did right now. Go to the Tiny, kill him, get the Tide to Have leave the bottom. Top. They get the jump, Ooh. toss into Impale. Nice little combo. Trying to bring arms down. Enough. Half HP, nowhere near enough damage. Yeah. Tiny and Nyx, the other one's having to run away. If you, don't use, if you don't use the tomboy, this doesn't work, man. <laughs> no? Hey, you got to get the you proper don't have tombo damage. Okay. Yeah, get that damage. Do they still get her now, though? They stuck around. Another toss oh. forward with a tree. Nope. Nah. Still at 300 HP. Oh, look at this from Infinity. They are safeguarding this dire jungle. Make sure they can't move up the ramps. Radiant you know what I want to see? Any further forward. I want to see them smoke up on Hakori, right? Nyx runs in, he gets gone on, and I want to see the Tiny toss in the Tidehunter. Five heroes, or four heroes, and pop that juicy Ravage. Yeah, that's what we all want to see. It's going to be beautiful. But you never see that anymore, right? Where you get like tiny tosses for big ulti plays. Yeah, never forget the old days of Tiny Centaur, the holy hand grenade. <laughs> toss the Centaur on top of people. Right, yep. so a, a nice period of the game here for Hakori, it feels like. Even if they're not killing the PA, they're making her suffer. While Troll has Battle Fury and he's accelerating. And now with the Viper in a real awkward position, trying to break that staircase. With the Fiend's Grip, they'll catch up a little boy. Dispatch with him quickly. Yep. And then they're back to defending their tier 1 mid. I really dislike little boy's item build right now. He went for Power Treads and a Falcon Blade. Oh, really? Yeah, not good. Absolutely not. Good. So no Rod of Atos, not heading into like the, the Arcanes, the Mech, the Greaves, anything like that? Yeah, no pipe, no that's, hood. Such a, that's such a big problem. This like is a very... Blade. Ooh. Catching Bane, Ravage, onto Pamplona, yeah. does clip the Grim and the Void Spirit in the back. Oh, Pamplona still pretty tanky there as Nyx with the Carapace swings on in. Nope. Gardic traded for Pamplona now, but a Soulbind two-man caught up in with that PA jump. Tied on it with no Ravage and the Viper Strike on both of them. Lumiere got him in Battle Trance, silenced and stunned into oblivion. Nia throws an Avalanche down to the low ground, doesn't even get a single kill, and now he might be hunted. PP has no Aether Remnant for four seconds, so they can't go any further. Yep, they use a lot of spells onto that Tusk and uh, utilizing Hakori's cooldowns. In Phoenix, that's just. That was really nice Soul Bite there. That was actually a perfect Soul Bite. Yeah. <laughs> Honestly. And they get both the troll and the tide hunter thanks to that. The double daggers, they're gonna be really good too later on. And they are still in this mid lane, this Tusk with the snowball and the inkswell. Not thinking tight. about it. Not but tight. The, yeah, exactly. He's the one that shows. Mm -hmm. And this, this it also goes to show that uh, Vitaly, he can't just drop this ravage like that. Where they only get one kill off of it. He needs to make sure that the, he's counter initiating when the Grimshaw goes in with the soul bind or they commit really hard into the engagement. Is under attack. Yeah, he needs to make sure it, like he catches this uh, this PA or the Void Spirit, like one of these big targets as well, so they can actually blow them up. Near wonky blink, snowball, trying to catch up to the Nyx Assassin. Shard's gonna block him out. With that Aether Remnant drag back, El Misho vendetta, but under a Sentry Ward, so punch down. That's a dead cockroach. Let's it, it really has been 5v5 Dota for the past, like, seven or eight minutes. Like, everyone's just grouping up together no, and no, really no, playing no, no. tight. No, Gary. It's not the past seven minutes. It's been 5v5 Dota since last game. <laughs> it, it never ended. <laughs> it's just been the going at continues. it. Yeah. You know, there was just, like, a little bit of a laning oh, stage and then back at it. Yeah, we'll hit some creeps for two, three minutes. <laughs> get one item. And then we're ready. It's basically, let, let us buy a magic wand. Everyone buy a magic wand or a magic stick, and then we fight. Extend the fights for as long as you can. Are you a fan of this tide build? Yep. Hood, soul ring into Blink Dagger. It's tanky. Mm -hmm. Very good. He's not oh, tanky enough in that, that Nether Toxin, Look though. Look at that, Nether Toxin. Tag team with Nether Toxin, Avalanche Toss. There we go, onto the Tusk. So they can't so chip good. away at this tier one, as the Nyx also finds Sexy Yogi's Grimstroke. Yeah, I've got him. Under lock and key, El Misho with a bit of body blocking. Troll's gonna come secure the kill. And Lumiere yeah. finally can return to farming. I mean, they got an incredible amount of magic damage on uh, Dire team, so the hood definitely works out. I, I think that's, that was still a worth kill, right? You uh, 
lost your two supports, but you managed to kill the Tide. You brought all the heroes mid, and this gives PA plenty of space as well. Yeah, Do you think uh, that BKB now? Yeah, that's going to be very strong for the Phantom Assassin. Not going to be affected by the Tiny, Tide, Nyx, oh. even the roots of the troll. I was a little bit worried for the Tiny then, because he is not with the rest of his squad, and there was a number of Infinity around him. Cheeky little remnant did catch him, Smoke but look up. at this. Hmm. How many heroes, Theban? Can you, can you count them all? There's a lot. One, two... Alright, let, let me just guess. It's five. Yeah, There's five heroes! Get, yeah, yeah, yeah. Bomb and Vitaly the again. Hunter. Okay. Yep. Pops his Solid. hood. You'll set oh, her up man. with the remnant in the nether toxin. And down he goes! This is why, Gary, when you TP to the tier twos, you can't go past, like, this line right here. If you go past this, they're always gonna come and kill you. I'm sure you can check it on the feed. Yep. Yeah, you see that? You, you, don't, you don't pass it. It's like, it's like a rule of thumb, you know? You just don't. Because... They know you TP'd, they know you're not going to be able to get out. They're just going to smoke straight to you. And you're going to get caught. Arms? Especially if you... Oh boy. Jeez, Wait, yeah. Allies are nearby though. Tusk? Got a turn on it. Tiny's ready with a blink avalanche toss. But he doesn't really want to go on the Tusk. Oh, He'd rather okay. the PA or the Void Spirit will catch out the Grimstroke under the tower. Single soul bind. Grimstroke's down. Tiny gonna get hit by that Viper Strike, but it looks like Infinity One out of there, not wanting to fight into that Ravage of Vitaly. Yep, that Tusk Shard put the Nyx on the other side and they couldn't see him anymore. So, arms couldn't kill him either. And, uh, Vitaly's actually going for a Blink this game. You know what I want to see him get? A Four Staff. It's so good against Viper and Tusk. That's true, yeah. Oh, nice shards again, but the PA still does get found by that Tiny. Toss break. off the Nyx, the break, the, the hit, the Miss stun the misses, Snowball's there. And Tusk now with Viper and Void Spirit arriving, moves straight on forward onto El Misho. Blow up the Nyx Assassin, Tiny's down. They haven't even spent Ravage. Vitaly's just going to die before even casting a spell. Surrounded by Infinity now, and it's a double kill for the Grimstroke around the Bounty Runes. Man, Hakori, they really wanted to get something going. Smoking into the Bounty. Nice Tusk Shard just blocking them off long enough and that Nyx, man, you, you gotta be hitting those stuns. If you can't hit it, just don't attack with your Vendetta first. Stun matter so much. And yeah, more to your point about that bottom lane, right? Especially when you haven't had time to de-ward the jungle. Like, they've not been Hold through on, that it's jungle. not done yet, Gary. Oh, the Grimstroke, of course on. not. A tier one dies, Grimstroke, Snowball saved, in comes the oh, Tusk, by here. space. Sexy Yogi, is he out of there? The troll still focuses him down, there we go. Arms jumps in, thinks about it. Just a one-for-one one trade, but it's a tiny for a Grim, and PP's out of there. They couldn't finish him off. Grip getting cancelled out. Lumiere has a BKB, though. So I think right now, Hakori really want to fight. And they want to utilize this Ravage being up as well. The only problem is this tiny is just dead. <laughs> back to back. Yeah, and they've had that Ravage since, what? The mid fight, like four fights ago, <laughs> four fights ago, which was about two minutes ago. <laughs> yeah, because he died mid, died bottom lane, then they went into the triangle, still had ravage. So it's been a, a you know a good two minutes, three minutes where Vitaly's not been able to actually fight properly. He's having a very hard time dealing with the Nair toxin right now on the Tide Hunter, and he buys a blink dagger, so he just wants to be able to blink in, ravage, follow up with the tiny. Still think he should have went for the four staff. It could have been a good pickup. Maybe, maybe next. Maybe next. Get super mobile on that tide. Tiny nearly has his Echo Saber, so we're going to see some big damage from Nier as well. What does Void Spirit have now? Yule Scepter, halfway towards Agadams. PP still with Brown Boots, so probably going to shift back into the bots. But the Radiant team using this time, the fact that Ravage is up, the fear of Infinity fighting into Vitaly means that they just walk into the pit. It's so good. Dire. I mean, if Infinity actually go here, you're going to run into a Ravage plus a BKB Battle Chance Troll Warlord. And that seems a little scary to me. And a hasted Tiny too. They're still smoking. They actually want to continue the aggression. Okay. They're going high here. ground. PA BKB into Troll BKB, but Lumiere has Aegis, so I guess focus everybody else, leave the Troll to the last. 
Oh man, that doesn't sound Thanks like a very well. good idea. Oh, they don't quite they jump the bane in first. time. Nightmare. That's a big kill. Taken off by the Ice Shards. There's the Blink Ravage though. Vitaly onto arms. The PA. One HP remains. The BKB, the one pop, the run away. PA blinks to the low ground, gets away. Now the Nether Strike into that two-man soul by Nears, caught up inside it after the Phantom's embrace. Vitaly still survives thanks to the Essence Ring and the Troll Warlord. He's gone wild. The Avalanche Toss. Tiny finds the PA him. on the secondary oh. jump. She stuck around a little too long. She was thinking about going back into the fight. Did they get the bonus kill? Yeah, it's Pamplona. Snowball will only delay the inevitable death of the Tusk. 21 shard is not even worth popping there. Yep, the PA went in first. Face first. Did not see anybody else. Jumped the Bane and then just got instantly ravaged combo like... Ooh, that's that's really scary to do as a PA. You gotta wait for your teammates to jump in and you gotta analyze the situation. Because that BKB needs to be perfect against this lineup. Yeah, like maybe if that Inkswell landed, if they killed off the Bane immediately, it would have looked a bit better. But that straight up jump ravage is great from the tide. Void Spirit. Good amount of damage off the Nyx, but there's a lot of Yule Scepters. Allows him to get the Vendetta out. And that's still a troll with Aegis. Bash has been freshly delivered. This is getting troll really scary now. Tier two. He's going to have MKB at a really good timing, probably before this Aegis even ends. And then the PA really can't blink in anymore. Because that's going to be MKB plus Basher troll that she's going to have to fight into. And she is going back into Deso. She's not going to go for the Abyssal Blade herself. So Orb of Corrosion and Desolator coming. Yeah, very uh, very much a poke at your enemy kind of build here. Just sit back, throw daggers out. And I guess, do you still go for the Armor Corruption knowing that MKB is coming on troll? Oh, Blur yeah, Evasion, not, not that valuable? Definitely, definitely. If you know the enemy has a hero who can go MKB, you most of the time just end up getting the armor corruption. It's just mm -hmm. such a huge damage amp. Smoke up. Hakori gets scouted. Void Spirit, immediate to simulate and snowball with a soul bind on Troll and the Tide. It's the heroes they want to catch, but in comes troll. Tiny. Avalanche wow. task, Pamplona's down. Vitaly gets shredded by arms though, and Troll now trying to battle the PA. The BKBs, they're wearing off. Mix for the break, the Vendetta strike there, and gets Lumiere a double kill. And he's bashed up the Viper. No escape for little boy. War is there. The Force staff to low ground. The ranged axes chase him down. Void Spirit is also running elsewhere in a separate team fight. Because why not? It's South American Dota. It's the Viper that's going to give a triple to the troll, though. And Bane oh, still hunting for PP. Tiny's even teeping back to his tier two for it. You want these bounty runes, buddy? You get, you're going to come with these ba my bounty runes? Come on, then. Let's have you. Ether Remnant, dissimulate. Does he get to high ground? He's on a sneaky spot. He can TP if he wants to, waiting for the avalanche, wait for the next stun. <laughs> are they, no where way. are they going to stun? Are they stun oh, they high ground? Him. They've got the nightmare. Yeah. Oh, they see him. How do they see him? They're from the low ground, you can see up that hill if you stand oh, right on the edges. Another dissimulate, though. He's gone to the other high ground, low ground. Now, oh. down he goes, and he's okay. away. No, he can't be allowed to do this. That's unacceptable, PP. Good toss <laughs> forward. Nick's assassin, not going to be able to get the stun quite yet. Dissimulate oh, and another dude. actual step. PP is outplaying them. Oh, he gets the rune too. So nice. Oh no, he's alive. He's got vision. That's oh, tiny. <laughs> he's got Yules to simulate. He's got another resonant pulse here. Yeah, Avalanche toss though. That says <laughs> absolutely not. I've had enough of your shenanigans. Oh man. I mean, he bought enough time for the PA to be alive. TP bottom and push Elena. So... <laughs> yeah. That was so weird, like, the Tusk and the Grim, they went in, but the PA also jumped onto the Troll Warlord, tried to burst him, but that Troll had an Aegis, Gary. It doesn't matter if you jump the Troll and pop, if you pop your BKB, like, he's gonna come back alive. Now you won't have your BKB on the PA, and this is gonna take even more, if that's the case. Yeah, then he has Battle Trans and BKB himself. Oh, Grim Stroke. Yeah, Shadow Amulet's not gonna help you under that there sentry. MKB complete. What do you do now? Minutes in. 18k PA. net worth troll. He's 5k ahead of the PA. Yeah, what does she do? Uh, she, she's going back for the uh, basher now. I mean, she has to be way more patient. I think Arms is just feeling too strong about himself because he got this BKB at a decent timing. But you gotta, you gotta like really milk the fights. Let your teammates go in first. 
Let the engagements develop and jump in only when you're sure to get a kill. Poke a bit with daggers. Yeah. Try and spun out the bane. But now, Hakori onto that tier 2 bot with Blink Ravage ready. And it's pretty good usage of that first Aegis, securing them a nice portion of that bottom half of the map. And Almisho moving forward. He's under dire sentry ops, realizes it as the creep wave aggro's on him. PP and Pamplona trying to catch him with the dust. But look at Tiny and the Tide. Oh, they've jumped, they've silenced both of them. Viper wants to attack the Tiny, and that's a lot of damage onto Nier, in fact. They've almost blown him up immediately. The 1k crit from PA secures it. But the Troll Warlord, too much to handle for little boys. The Ravage there on Grimma and that PA. Arms won't get the Inkswell play. Forced to BKB, and then Phantom Assassin has to blink back to the Grimstroke. While the PP Void Spread is being left stranded. Nier bought back in all of that. Got one more. Like Bane set up for another one. Nightmare. Stun misses, but they've got the grip. Trap up the tusk. And three beautiful kills there. Lumia, godlike on the troll. It's high gun time, a... baby. Yeah, up to that tier three. They still got the BKB. They got the battle chance ready on the troll. Nothing gonna stop them. I don't have that ravage, but. The fact they've got this tiny with the avalanche there, even the, just a blink toss back could be a play he makes. Got to be careful though, Nier did buy back. So he can't be throwing his life away too rashly. And it doesn't look like there's any contest. The two heroes still dead on infinity, just let the melee barracks fall. And Akura going to go back towards that top outpost, resecure the Roshan area because fast spawn is in about 30 seconds. That's going to be the game-defining moment, that second Aegis. But they do find Tiny. And don't forget, die back Tiny, potentially. Nia getting jumped on again. The Soulbind with the Phantom's Embrace in with the double daggers. And they've Huge sliced kill. them. Another massive crit. The next Assassin's going to land. Now show tried the optimistic TP. Carapace is back a dagger, but Grimstroke will finally remove him. But now right. there's 80 seconds without Tiny, and we're about to find out when Roshan spawns. Exactly. When is it? When is it? 30 seconds. Oh, that's a good one. Okay, get a courier in there. Grimstroke. You gotta, you got, it's on the way, right? That's gonna be pretty nice. Yep. He's sending it. 20 seconds. So that gives you, what, a 35 second window where you are five oh, you versus four. Oh, you will annihilate it. Yeah, you will destroy that Roshan. You will stand no chance. But the PA is still bottom right now. Does have the outpost top that. Uh, the PA can TP two. Here we go. True. Two, one, blast off. Big man respawns. Pinged out. Yep. TP, Come on, PA. 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 No, that big camp is not important. Why are they not doing it? No. Okay. Decides that uh, it's too late. I mean, if the PA was there playing around the top side and they jumped into Roshan right away, they would have got it, right? But now she's at the TP there, and they start the fight, and it's like a half HP by now. Troll runs in with the BKB and the Abyssal, they got the Ravage. It's already And Tiny respawns. Yeah. Yeah, I guess so. It looked like the perfect moment for them they to come back the into this. PA Abyssal Blade too. Yeah, it's insane like how important this Roshan is for both of the teams. Because now the PA can live through the initial battle chance BKB from the Troll with the Aegis, and then she can fight back the Troll. Yeah, Abyssal into Abyssal. Troll and PA both with it. But it's always going to feel like that overwhelming team fight. Now. Ability smoke. from Vitaly's Ravage. Smoke into smoke. Oh, PP. Smoke into he doesn't have sentries. There's oh, no reveal PP. here. Oh, so they God. find him in the Nyx Assassin. And let me show up on that high ground. Yes. I mean, you can see what PP was trying to do, but you can't do that against the Nyx. Nope. Nope. You really can't. And now they're going to lose the Roshan for it. They, oh man, what do you do? Do you fight this? You give up Roche? But you, you can't fight. Oh. Damned if you do, damned if you don't, right? You give up Roche, it's you probably lose the so game because it's Troll Age's cheese. You fight, yeah. you probably lose the fight and lose the game anyway. You're gonna lose a Grimstroke here, right? Oh. No way. Yeah. No way. Stop his TP, boys. Yeah, there we go. There we go. There we go. 
Well, I guess it's going to come down to high ground defense and PAQ. That ain't up happening. Sorry, Gary. Rapier. That ain't happening. Yep. <laughs> I was just about to ask dead. you, <laughs> is that even going to be completed? A pipe dream for arms. They will have their void spirit back in 10 seconds and a buyback from Grimstroke going to try and set them up for this base defense. Looks like Hakori lining up a three-game series, though. Troll Warlord. Ready on those buildings, and nobody else is showing, right? Everybody else is sat behind the troll, ready to counter-initiate. It's like a nice little daisy chain. Tide's ready to blink, tiny, also. And then Bane is, <laughs> like, 2,000 range away from the buildings, miles away. They don't get the melee barracks. At least something going for infinity. But at this point, it always feels like the team defending, if they sit back and just let these waves crash upon them, they're just going to get whittled down little by little. So what they do, need do to do you have right to now, smoke out? Yeah, yeah, no, 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 no. You don't smoke out here, I think. You need to. Yeah, they have ages. There's no way you can smoke out and win a fight. You, that's just game losing. What they got to do right now is they got to wait for all these creep waves to push in to them. And you just give every creep, creep wave to the PA. Nobody touches anything else. So let the voice Spirit, Viper, please don't cast skills. Give everything to the PA. And then let her get to the rapier. The last ditch effort rapier. Yep. Yep. You got him. At this point in the game, that's pretty much your only option. Well, let's see if they can get it done. Troll? Just wandering up towards the top for the tier 3. Opting not to go for that mid barracks. Still taking a decent chunk of damage though. Another toxin is no joke. And that Nyx assassin caught up in the remnant. He's going to yield himself up. Still pretty tanky though. He's got halfway towards Ags, getting jumped in, Nyx. jumped out. PP, not good wanting sleep. to commit. Very good sleep. Also, pretty good defense from the Dyer though, right? They're only losing yeah, about half HP is. on that tier three tower. Uh. I mean, the Rosha and the Aegis is still up for a very long time, and the PA is not even halfway to the Rapier yet. I think they're going to make another play and go to this high ground. Oh, the Abyssal Blade onto PP, no! Void Spirit down. They do spend BKB Battle Trance on the Troll, though. There's buyback Here's on a buyback. Void Spirit. They should fight. I, I think this is the time. It's go time. Try and get in there. There's the buyback. Snowball in with Warus Punch and the Soul Bind. They've got the Ravish turn no, around from Dali and the yeah. jump from near the PA. Oh doesn't get anything off. She's dead for a minute and a half. It's game over. Can't it's buy back. Over. Your two cores are dead. And in we go. Game three's coming. Hakori tied up one to one. Oh, that PA didn't click her BKB. She's supposed to kill the troll. The tide will go into the Ravish and you pop the Bane too. You kite them. Then you go back in again. Right. So many moments in I that mean, game, the little things, right? That dire triangle fight, no BKB usage, no BKB usage there from the PA, the Roshan timing, so many you know, delicate maneuvers could have come out from Infinity, but Hakori, they stood strong. Yeah, they did. And I feel like it's not only the BKB's usages and the fights, some of the fights, I think Viper's item build was pretty bad too. I think you're supposed to just get Atos, run at them, click Atos on the enemy, and then let the Void Spirit have this.